live, we live, the Phase On View podcast, man, exclusive episode, exclusive episode, relationship talk with lovely Mo. What's up, y'all? My it's baby. Mo. She getting put hot on the hot seat today, guys. She getting put on the hot seat today. This is an exclusive episode. Hey, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to Phase On View podcast. You are now on the hot seat. I'm on the hot seat. You're on the hot seat. Okay. All right, make sure you guys also go... Like, share, subscribe, follow. I right, leak and neek, leak and neek. You can follow that on YouTube. I right, on YouTube, I have that popping up on the screen as well too. But you can go and hey, follow our journey as well too. Make vlogs, more content as well. So, like I said, your girl Mo, she on the hot seat today. Mo, Neek, y'all. I told y'all she got Mo, million names. All right? I don't Mo. know what you what, what we doing today. It's just Mo. Just Mo. It's just Mo. Okay, so we got relationship talk. All right, my first question to Mo is, would you relocate for love? Would I relocate for love? Honestly, it depends. Like, I would say, like, you talking about in just a regular relationship? Yep, a regular relationship. So you, been, so I know you had to add some criteria, but say less if you you been with this person for a good while, you know each other, you trying to move forward with this person. Mm-hmm. Um, but and, no, I would never. If we're married, yes. Okay. Relationship wise, if I'm just, if but, we just, if we trying mm-hmm. to move forward, no. But that relationship can lead to a marriage. You never know that, right? I'm still not relocating for, for nobody, unless we marry. Cause like, what if I relocate mm-hmm. and it don't work out, right. and I left all my stuff behind, but I relocated for you. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like in the sense of sacrifice, yeah. you're not really w- willing to make that sacrifice. Yeah, um, I feel like that's a big sacrifice. It is a big sacrifice, and I feel like it's criteria that's needed in this yeah. in this scenario. But um, to your premise and what you said, I would say I would say no too. Like relocating for love because also you don't know what's going to come out of that situation. Mm-hmm. You got a lot of people that dedicate their, their lives to a relationship and look back on things, and if it don't work out. Everything had just failed within your own personal life. Yeah. So I, I get that. I understand that too. But I, I also feel like if if the love is actually strong and the bond is actually strong and the trust is there with that person and you feel a future with that person. But like you said, I feel like at least if it be engaged. Right. You know what I'm saying? At least be engaged. I can't just be out here in a relationship moving for a man. Yeah. Because... Like, it, absolutely not yeah that's true that's a lot to give up like mm-hmm. you're gonna give up your whole like your everything like because mm-hmm. you're moving you're relocating for love like to be with that person because mm-hmm. they need to move for whatever reason it is like that's a big commitment and then it depends on what your job is yeah what, what you do for a living Facts. how is that you know how how that works mm-hmm. we're both teachers i mean it can be well, like my for me though i couldn't relocate for love like wow. because my my job field is hard to like some some states don't have like my job field okay so it's not yeah so it depends on the state you may yeah. your certification might not exactly even be. and then also like you make depend like for mine like it's like a big increase or a big decrease depending on where you live depending on where you live Mm -hmm. like if my if i was in my field back where i went to school i'll be making half of what i make now Mm -hmm. like based on oh yes based on the salary amount of that state and Mm -hmm. with their um minimum wages with their salaries and also the types of jobs that are around and just like that the industry and business of that state yeah like you said so like we in a very popular area business wise Mm -hmm. so i and also we're popular area but also like you got to think about like the demographics right like can you find a job with this in this demographics here so it's kind of like hard like because you can't relocate for love and you not even be guaranteed like your own like career in that Mm -hmm. area too like the person might got you but like if it's over they don't have you so that's also yeah, something to think about too. and keep into consideration. And that's true too. And and also you can't fall on being dependent on that said person mm-hmm. because you never know if anything happens, mm-hmm. then so you might be out them, the door. With them or just with y'all together. Right, because right. like, what if they lose their job? What if it don't work out? Mm-hmm. And y'all relocated there and y'all ain't. That's the only person who has the money, you know? Mm-hmm. It has to be It has to be for, for marriage or, you, or you're going somewhere further in your in your life with this person yeah because i mean 
you know, you and also to to that point, Mo, you have people that are well established, are well off, engaged mm-hmm. or probably married and relocated for love and it didn't work out. That's true too. So it's many instances of mm-hmm. where that can play a part. Okay. Yeah. I feel like regardless, you gotta make sure wherever y'all relocate, y'all got you have your own. Yeah. Too. Like even if mm-hmm. you're married, like you gotta make sure you got your own as well. Cause you never know. Yeah, that's true. I agree. I agree. She on the hot seat, all right? And that was a good response. <laughs> that was a good response for the first all one. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Truth or cap? All right? Truth Cap's or cap? Like, no, I don't even know that question. Men aren't given this, the safe space to be honest or vulnerable without being judged from women. I mean, I guess it's true. Why Why do you think that's true? Um, I feel like because now, don't, don't bid me on this, y'all. <laughs> but I feel like right now, like... It'd be hard for women to allow. I I don't know. I just not for me, but I be hearing people be like, "Oh, like we in the sassy man era." Like I feel like a lot of women think mm-hmm. like you, you know, can't you can't move muscle as a man out here. You can't brush <laughs> your you can't brush your teeth a certain way right. or it's sassy. No, to to what your point. But it do be some right. sassy men out here. I ain't gonna hold. It, but it, it is. But, but also, I feel like we be like merging it all into one category. Like certain things, mm-hmm. like feelings, emotions. Then we got the sassy men. We merging them all into one category mm-hmm. and just calling it all. Even and also you know. even before even before that trend or the, if that said word, yeah. like men are always looked as like the so, dominant figure. No, well, the yeah. dot and the dominant figure, and you have to act or uh, or hold yourself to a certain manner. Uh, you can't show emotions, especially in our black community. You can't show some type of emotions, especially if you're a man. You have to mask a lot, a lot of the things how you feel. Yeah. And and when you really look at it, a, a lot of mental health problems stem within the uh, the black man because we can't express ourselves in a certain type of magnitude, especially with our woman. I feel like as a man, the the person you're really really supposed to be vulnerable vulnerable with is your woman. Like I feel like behind closed doors, that's how it should be. Yeah. And I feel like um in a lot of these in, in the day that and the era we are in now, it's like that's deemed as or looked at as soft or yeah. sassy when you when you voice voice your opinion or just voice yourself. You know what I'm saying? I really think it just depend depends though. Like I feel like you know, there's nothing wrong with being vulnerable with your women. Like, I don't even necessarily think the majority of women are judging that, right? Like, I, I, think, think, I think women do judge that. I don't really I do. think so. I think it's like, may, I think it's like the men who are like constantly like, I guess constantly like leaning on their women, but like not in like a masculine way, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, like, let's say your man come home every day, like, just, like, real emotional, right? Like, but you, but then, like, as a woman, you don't get to, like, express yourself mm-hmm. in that emotional way. Like, I feel like, in that sense, like, I feel like a lot of women are, like, kind of shun that behavior. But I don't think it's just, like, vulnerability in general. Like, I feel like, you know, women want men to be able to communicate their feelings. Yeah, but like also, that. it's a, that's, I don't know about that. Because you want <laughs> us to communicate our feelings, but when we communicate, communicate our feelings, you don't like what, what's being said. Or if we're being honest and truthful in a certain type of way, you don't like what's being said. But you also want me to always come to you and have an open space. You know, I, I hate the fact that uh, people that be like, oh, yeah, well, you can always talk to me or it's, or it's a safe space. And then and as, as soon, soon as you, you talk, talk about, about what's, what's going on, on you're, you're being, being judged, judged for, for something. something. Or, or you're, you're being, being judged, judged on how you, how you, or you, how you should, you, should, you know, handle, handle yourself in certain situations. situations. I, I feel like that is a, a, I definitely feel like that is a problem when we talk about man versus woman, woman. Because, because we, it's, it's all, it's always been this societal thing, thing that, okay, well, women are emotional and things of that nature. That's cool, understand. But everybody, as human beings, we all have emotions. We all match them and express them in different type of ways. I get what you're saying as well. Like you can have some type of man that are overboard. And they'll yeah, cry on the drop, a drop of a dime. But also, right. but also, you have men who have been through a lot of trauma and pain, and and really is trying to vent to you, and it's really a cry for help. And when he's emotional or he's but I feel like we certain. can distinguish between the two. the two. Yeah, like I could distinguish between the two for sure. But regardless, you said it's true. Like we do, we we get we good judge. We I mean, yeah, we're we heavily judged judge on. But like. With criteria added, yeah. 
Like, I don't know. I would say, like, make, like I would say, I don't even know. With this one, like, truth or cap, like, I would say cap. You started off as truth. Now because you now you're like a cap. In general, yeah, men can be vulnerable and they have that space, safe space to be honest. But I feel like if it's like excessive, like with a woman mm-hmm. not really able to like be like be in her like feminine way too, just cause like you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. The man is just emotional, crying all the time. Like, but like. It's a difference between like being emotional, but like actually like going through stuff. So I feel like women can distinguish between the two. I feel like they shun the other one. Like they I be you, there. I get what yeah, like they be I there for saying. you. Like you know what I'm saying. I understand, really, it. but either you way, you know how a man. Like you know how your man is. Correct, but either way, guess what? All in all, it's still judgment being passed. I mean, I it's guess. still you're still being judged for a certain behavior because you because we don't see it as often, or. It's not really societal for a man to show emotions or that type of feelings. You know what I'm saying? And then also you have a lot of situations where arguments become uh, come behind that when the man is being honest or being vulnerable in a certain type of magnitude. You, I mean, I, I, I feel like I feel like this definitely is a truth. I, I feel like guess. it's definitely a truth cap, for the for the masses. But you got cap. Yeah. Okay. Y'all let us know in the, y'all let us know in the, uh, in the chat. All right. Y'all let us know in the chat. TikTok live. Truth for cap. Men aren't given the safe space to be honest or vulnerable without being judged. Is that truth or cap? Okay. All right. You still in the hot seat? We got oh we got some things to talk about. Okay. <laughs> when in a relationship? When? All right, so yeah, when in a relationship should your partner meet your parents and family? Hmm. Um. I mean, I feel like I. I mean, I guess it just depends on the person. Like, I feel like you don't have to meet your partner's like parents and family. Like, like immediately, timetable wise, what you mean? Like, what if the person you dating don't have parents or family, and they like, but you meet their friends? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you meet somebody that know them. Yeah, but like, when though, Mo? Like, when? Oh, when do you like know? When? Like, so when do? You, when in a relationship uh, should your partner meet your parents, friends, family, like whoever maybe, that may be? Maybe like six months in. Okay, you see, it says six months in yeah, a good timetable. Six time months table. to a year is a good timetable. Yeah, I I agree. I agree. Six months to a year, I feel like, yep, there's some good time being put in because mm-hmm. I truly believe in in the honeymoon stage of a relationship or you guys talking and, and things of that nature. Like, and bringing somebody around um, that you're not one, sure two, about. three, four months and right. that you're not sure about, yeah. um, it can it can also harm the relationship in a certain type of magnitude mm-hmm. because you, you can have your parents and family um, possibly judge them or them judge your family. In a certain type of magnitude, and then you or then, your family might love them, and y'all right. work out, and then you scared exactly. to tell your family. And that's that. That's one right there. That's yeah. often that. Okay, well, that that person built a rapport with your family very early, mm-hmm. and y'all didn't work out, and now now you beca- now it becomes a problem where your parents and family reaching out to this person that you mm-hmm. don't even talk to anymore. Now it's a sense of like it's no boundary there no more mm-hmm. because especially if you're if your parent or your family likes them, then it's not a sense of boundary. It's like, okay, well, I talk to them when I want. Yeah, and that's and that's not. Well, I fly. mean, I don't know about that one though. That's not I don't fly, think though. most parents talk to. But I'm saying that to what you're saying, that can happen based off. I, of this I mean, situation. it can. You know what I'm saying, based off. But of if your situation. parents do that, then they don't. They don't bang with you. No, nah, I don't think that. I do. I don't think that. I don't think that. Like, I mean, they don't respect I, you. I would. I would. I would feel some type of way for sure. I would feel some type of way for sure. But like, also. Like they built, they built their own report. That's kind of that's kind of your your fault as well too, mm-hmm. as the person that I brought guess. them there. You get what I'm but saying? But I feel like when you once you tell your family and friends that y'all not together, and like as a respect factor, that mm-hmm. they just shouldn't reach out. And if they do, they don't respect you. Right, correct. It should, it should be a certain. It should be a certain. Honestly, it should it should be it should be a certain limit to where that goes. Mm-hmm. And then, like you just said, set, setting boundaries. So I, I do feel like six months to a year. Mm-hmm. I feel like even more now, like a year plus now, 
because I, like when I look at me and your situation, we've known each other for so long. So it's, a, it's totally different than a new relationship. Yeah. And they just starting to get to know each other, have an understanding of each other. You don't know people motives now. People be crazy and people show you their representative when they want to, for real, for real. They'll show their representative for a good minute and then they show you who you tr who they truly are. So like, I do feel like it should be a time on that as well. And then also you can have, like I said, on the flip side, you saying be happy and, and love them. Then you can have your family and, and parents and friends that hate them mm -hmm. and say, and say, for instance, that you really like this person, but they hate them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Well, and then you that, don't gotta like who I'm with. Right, but also well, I understand that too. But I, you, you, I, I, I feel differently about that. I do, I do feel like yeah, you don't have to like who I'm with. But it also too, it's a certain, it's a certain connection, especially if you're family or, oriented. Like if they don't connect, then they don't connect. But also now, it, it now becomes a problem too. So now, especially if you're close with your parents or you're close with your partner and stuff like that. And people getting in your ear about oh yeah well this that that this about that about said partner that that causes friction. But I mean that goes back to my point too. Like if your family don't respect who you with or who you're not with, and mm -hmm. like I feel like my parents gonna like if if the person I'm with is like respectable, mm -hmm. like and I and they love me and I love them, my parents gonna be down. Yeah, for sure. Like and vice versa, like vice versa, but. Like if if I'm with somebody and then they do me dirty, like my parents ain't going ain't gonna bang with them either. Correct. So I feel Correct. like your parents don't need to be Correct. too involved in your situation anyway. Like it's your situation. Mm -hmm. So I feel like they should support you with what with but whatever decision your decision is, is, unless you are getting abused. That's a whole, whole other story. Mm -hmm. But like if it's just the relationship, the ups and downs, like it's whatever your decision is. If they don't respect that, then that's going that's something with that y'all you and your parents need to talk about and work out mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i do I, I do like to exactly what you said family um is is very important but not to everybody also as well too but in these certain situations like you got to separate your family from your relationship mm -hmm. and that's true as well too so that's why it's key like we said to be to to all go all the way back is that's when it's key to have a certain timetable of when you you, you want your yeah. partner to meet Meet your said parents or family. Facts. That is. I want you to uh, look on your phone. We got another high seat question. All right. I didn't put it on the board, but we got another high seat question. All right. This was a, a viral trending topic. Oh, uh, which, what is it? If you're dating someone and they accomplished a big goal and you found out via social media and they never told you, would you feel some type of way? That's a good question. Yeah, that question was yeah, be for you. Yeah, because why would you tell everybody and not me? You trying to get all the congratulations from all of them? <laughs> all of that's them? That's what you want? Like, nah, that's that really how I would come from at you. No, for real. That's how I would come at you. Like, yeah, that's then, weird. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be like, no congratulations to you then. And, but, I'm not going to congratulate and, you. Right, and then y'all in, the in, in a relationship. Yeah, that's you weird. Ain't tell, you, ain't tell no, you, know, you ain't tell me about this said accomplishment. It makes it look even weirder that you put it on social media without telling me. Mm -hmm. And also, also, it's not even a, I don't think this is a, a selfish way of thinking. I do feel like if you're in a relationship, especially if you help say a person with this accomplishment mm -hmm. and you, you were with them uh, throughout their journey. And but also say if, say if you knew about their accomplishment, but they just posted. I think that's different. So say if you knew about their accomplishment and y'all have been talking about it, but this says you don't. They didn't know about their accomplishment and mm -hmm. you just randomly posted. Oh, you out of pocket. You out of yeah, line and you wild. out of pocket. Like why? What was your purpose? You out of pocket. No, for real. Like. I mean, but like you said, attention. Yeah, but what you want attention for? What you need that attention for? Attention. People like people like attention. But because I, I I feel the same way you feel about this yeah, one. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't, I, it's no argument or debate on this one because if you know what I'm saying if I'm your if I'm your partner I, I'm and I'm not saying I need to be the first person to know. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that at all. But I when you mean, put stuff certain stuff, people. but yeah, of course. But also, but when you put stuff on social media yeah. and you and you just looking for attention or congratulations, which is totally fine. It's your accomplishment. You are allowed to post whatever you want to post. But in the realms of you having a partner and you not telling them about mm -hmm. this said accomplishment, that is a problem. Mm -hmm. So it's two separate things. Like you could post whatever you want, especially I'm really I don't care about none of that. But also if you were to post something that 
that you accomplished and I had no idea about it and I'm with you every single day. <laughs> you done lost your mind. That's wild. Oh, you done lost your mind. Yeah, we done. <laughs> we done? We over with. It's over. We over I'm with. I'm leaving. I'm gone. Monique, you are leaving somebody over For there? Sure. Oh yeah, nah, you petty. Because you're wild. You petty. I would not I ain't leaving nobody over there. Clearly we're not as close as I thought we was. Yeah, but also too. Also too, let me let me let me play the other say side. Social media. Yeah, I'm about to say, let me play the other side of things. Because you have a lot of people uh in, in relationships that dedicate their lives too much to social media and care about the outside world as well too. And also that can come in between your relationship. Like as far as like say for instance, you uh, say for instance, and Mo gonna laugh about this. Say for instance, I I get a haircut. I ain't seen your picture, but I just posted on social media. And he be doing that. And if he like, be but doing you know what I'm saying? Like this. Hold up, but hold up, hold up. This is this, is, and that. But that's where I feel differently though. That's why I feel differently though because that's a total different thing. That's something that's being accomplished. That's a something a milestone in life. That is different. Yeah. But me just wanting to, if I'm I'm looking a certain type of way, I want to take a picture, post it on my social media, or you do that the same thing. I'm not gonna judge you or I or I'm not gonna care about it. You know what I'm saying? But all, all people are different. But I'm saying that that aspect is very true with the relationships and like okay well now nah, I need to see such say, such and such before you post it. Who the <laughs> this is my this is my page. That's how I feel about that. And also, I feel like we, we get too invested in it. And now it becomes a problem where we're on, where we're on social media. It's, it's a problem. Yeah, but why are you posting your accomplishments before you tell me? Yeah, no, that's that's that's. I feel issue. like that's wild. Because I feel issue. like if I graduated in December and never told you when I was graduating, and then I just all of a sudden popped up on social media, I graduated, woo, you'd be like... Why well, I ain't know about it. Right, I'll be, I'll be sick. You would. I would be sick, but it, I wouldn't leave you over it. I mean, I like, wouldn't leave I w- you. I wouldn't leave you over that. Like, yes, but, I would. I'll be sick. It'll be a conversation that need to be had, but yeah. I'm not leaving you over that. Like, that's now. I feel like that's taken elsewhere now because of the social media aspect. Now I would have to revisit my dad on way of thinking if I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna just leave for that. <laughs> it's principles behind it too, yeah. though, because it's like, why would you do that? Mm-hmm. So. I understand. I'll jump on your head. I'll jump on your head. For sure. I really would. Oh, Monique. Because why would you do that? Oh, goodness gracious, bro. (laughs) Lord have mercy. So, those those are my hot seat questions for Mo. That wasn't bad. We do a little relationship talk with Mo. We can do this more often. I see you guys commenting. Let us know. Uh, We had a couple things. make, Make it a little hotter. Make next time make it a little hotter. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, we're gonna a little we, spicier. A little spicier. All right, we're gonna have part two coming soon. You know, I just wanted to ask some, you know, some some chill questions. All right, would you re- relocate for love? I'm truth or cap? All right, when a relationship should your partner meet your parents, family, all that? Yeah, put me in the hot seat next. Let's go. We, come on, you know, yeah. you know, I love this content. You know, I love this content, man. <laughs> Make sure you guys, all right, before you go, like, share, and subscribe to Phase On View Podcast, the Phase On View Podcast on YouTube. All right, we got over 300 episodes, man. Make sure you guys tune into that. Leak and Neat. All right, I'll be showing that on the YouTube screen, but Leak and Neat. All right, we got some more content, vlogs. Everything coming. So make sure you guys go like, share, and subscribe to that, man. Much love. See you guys soon.